Hello, I just wanted to shoot this quick video to uh, talk a little bit about the topic of support and generosity. We know from the scientific research that when we feel generous, when we do something for the benefit of other people, we have a higher sense of happiness and fulfillment. Now, what it does on a biological level, when we think about our two sides of our brain, two hemispheres, the left hemisphere is very logical, it's our anticipation machine, it's prevention, it's uh, language, it's support from the uh, logic standpoint, so it um, really kind of our egoistic part of our brain. So when we think about ourselves, how I would get things, how I would benefit from it, how I would uh, go in and do something for um, feeling better, this is the left part that's working to boost the confidence, to boost the motivation for us to do something. Now, when we shift that focus from us into the other person or other people, we literally shift the um, attention from the left part to our right part of our brain and activate mirror neurons in the right part of our brain that's activated to create that sense of fulfillment and happiness, to expand our experience of ourselves. And hence, we feel bigger, we feel more significant, we feel naturally more confident, we feel naturally joyful and happy. So I would like to share with you three easy steps on how to really increase that sense of generosity using the left part of our brain, because let's be honest, everyone who went through our traditional educational system, through schooling, through universities, we really over-exploited, over-developed uh, the left part of our brain. So let's use it to our advantage and think about it. So uh, the first step is to find an area uh, in life where you feel a little bit sensitive about or maybe emotional some people uh, think about maybe cancer or orphans or refugees uh, or inequality of gender inequality of uh, maybe race or skin or whatever so whatever makes you feel a little bit emotional and sensitive and kind of touches those buttons note it and write it down for yourself then step two Find some organizations who are already doing some philanthropical or some uh, charity work in those areas, okay, and maybe that area for you. Once you find that organization, number three, just share uh, your intention to help them. Offer your help. It may be your volunteering time, it may be money, it may be uh, some efforts that you can do to collect uh, other people to help. Whatever you can do in that area would really benefit you and also affect your left part that would uh, help you to move forward, as well as your right part of your brain where you would experience that relief, that you know, sense of uh, well-being and happiness because you're going to be touching some of the important area for you. And of course, people who are around you, your beloved ones, your children, your parents, your uh, partner, they also would be a great uh, manifestation of that generosity, that support that you could do and shift that attention from you to them so that you can enrich yourself and enrich the relationships you have with others. So I just wanted to share that very simple three-step uh, process that helps me and helps people around me to really be more generous, be more supportive and in that satisfy their need for support and generosity and also feel more happy. Take care. Bye-bye.